One of the common challenges within the African content is that we're not the greatest emitters. We contribute about 3.8% of global emissions as African continent. Of course, there will be variations. For instance, South Africa has got a, a more concentration in 90% in of South Africa's as electricity generated from coal. So there will be the variations within the African continent, but globally as a, as a continent, we contribute less. So that's the first point. The second point is that in that environment, if we contribute less, uh, what is going to be required is what, what kind of support measures are going to come from the developed world, uh, uh, which will have uh, us reap this crop of benefits. They've already promised uh, 100 billion US dollars, which is not materializing, which could be a core benefit for all of us in order to transition uh, from, you can see in the slide that was presented here, is that despite that we are one of the fastest economy on the continent in terms of moving away from coal. So uh, with a bit of support from the developed world, which will help us to achieve those benefits, is going to be important, it's going to be important that that happens. I mean, if most of the economy, I mean, like South Africa, if I may take our own position, is that for us to benefit, I have been developing, discussing with some of the developed worlds, is that if we are going to transition effectively, it's going to be important that we emphasize the just component of the just transition. I normally cite to them that we've got one region which contains about 13 of our, of our coal power stations to, and mines to shift from those coal mines and, and, and 13 and, and coal power stations in that region, there's going to be huge social dislocation, which is Mpumala. The question is, what that means is that what the missing link is that when you talk about this thing, it's not only about planting few renewable power stations, it's a complete uh, new development in alternative development model. The question, how do you begin to, to define that? So that's a challenge. So we need to, an articulated strategy as countries, but also an articulated strategy for the continent in order for us to reap these benefits. That's going to be the key challenge moving forward. I think we're beginning through these discussions and, and African Development Bank, which is beginning to uh, use its, its, its muscle in order to mobilize finances which are going to benefit all of us uh, in order to transition effectively into a zero emission by 2050.